you are preparing for your salesforce administrator certification and you must be wondering that there is a lot that i need to cover up in the syllabus or in the course that is given in the study material provided by salesforce in this video i'm going to be telling you some important topics based on which you're going to be finding most of the questions and with the help of that you'll be able to crack your salesforce certification exam specifically the salesforce administrator certification exam in one go let's begin The number one topic that you actually need to master in order to crack your Salesforce Administrator Certification exam is automation. Automation basically means process builder, workflows, approval process, as well as the flows. Everything around this, uh, these topics is very, very important topic or is very, very important for you to understand and to learn the basic concepts. You actually have to learn which tool to use when and why. There are going to be so many questions in the exam in which they're going to give you a scenario. And based on that scenario, they'll ask you that which tool we need to use in this particular scenario. That is something that you need to master. That, that is something that you need to ace. Though it is written that uh, automation only includes 15% of the total weightage of the certification exam questions. But a lot of people have observed that there were way more questions from automation than, it is, than what actually is written in the study material. In automation, you need to understand the different different actions that you can do in different different tools like in process builder, what you can do in workflow, what you can do and what you cannot do. Uh, in approval process, what, what different type of actions we have got, uh, how to actually schedule uh, an automation or something related to that. There are going to be so many questions out from this topic. If you master this topic, there's nobody who can stop you from cracking the certification. The second topic that you need to master or ace for cracking the Salesforce Administrator exam is data security. When I say data security, it includes organization-wide security, uh, object level security, field level security, as well as record level security. You need to learn all of them and you need to master all of them in order to like completely set up or implement the security model for a particular organization or for a particular org. In this also, you need to know that which type of setting or which type of uh, permission we need to apply in which situation. There are going to be a lot of scenario based questions which will be given to you. And based on that particular scenario, you need to suggest the best uh, security setting that we have to make in order to achieve that scenario or the condition in that scenario. Especially you need to understand the differences between object level security and record level security and when to apply both. And also you need to understand that profiles restrict the access and permission sets opens up the access. Similarly, on the other hand, OWD restricts the access on the record level security and sharing rules or role hierarchy or manual sharing opens up the access. This is very, very important in uh, order to give the answer, give the right answer to a scenario based question that they'll be asking you in the Salesforce certification exam. Talking about a Salesforce certified administrator who doesn't know data modeling is not a truth. So the third topic is data modeling, of course. We all know that there are so many things in data modeling. What exactly do we need to master? Like objects, fields, relationships, relationships. Relationship is a very, very important topic that you need to master because there are going to be so many questions out there uh, in, the, in the exam, which are going to be based on to relationship. Like there can be many questions from other chapters as well, in which there are going to be a scenario in which there is going to be a master detail relationship given in the scenario and which, change, which completely changes the answer of that particular question. So you need to really master the concepts of relationships in data modeling chapter inside the Salesforce platform, especially master detail relationships. Apart from that, uh, there are going to be many questions based on the formulas that we have in formula fields as well as validation rules. Validation rules is also an important topic, but uh, preferably the questions uh, on like on top of uh, like in the exam are going to be based on the formulas that we have in validation rules as well as in formula fields. And talking about formula fields, how can we forget about cross object formula fields? You need to master your concepts on cross object formula fields as well. Like what exactly that is, in which scenario we can create that. Is it possible to do it like that? Is it possible to do it like this? There are going to be like so many questions out there uh, in the exam based on cross object formula field. And you actually need to master that in order to give the right answer to that particular question. In data modeling, we've got one more very, very important topic and that is record types. So many people out there actually forget about record types. And that's the biggest mistake that they do while preparing for a certification exam because it seems very confusing. It's, it's actually very confusing. So we'll be adding the link to the record types video that we have created anywhere over here. Uh, with the help of which you'll be able to learn 
record types in depth in detail so if you do not know about record types check out the video the link of which is seen over here or down in the description but do not make this mistake that you skip record types while preparing for your certification exam especially the administrator and the app builder topic number four that you need to master is data import and export that we sometimes call as data management in data management you basically need to understand certain things number one the difference between insert update and absurd there there might be a situation in which you can get a lot of questions based on this. Like if you're doing an update, if you're doing an upsert, if you're doing an insert. So all the questions from the data management chapter are gonna be uh, stating these things only. Like the situation is we are inserting the records. The situation is we are updating the records. And so the situation is we are upserting the records. So you need to actually understand the difference between insert, update and upsert. After that, you need to actually know the differences between the different different tools that we have available in order to import and export the data from or to Salesforce. You need to know the capabilities of all of these tools, like what we can actually do with a particular tool and what we cannot do with a particular tool. And there'll be scenarios or situations given to you in which uh, the question is gonna ask you that this is the situation or this is the scenario, which tool do you recommend us in order to achieve this particular target. So you need to actually like master this topic about the tools as well. A little tip for the certification exam. Whenever you find anything scheduled, like if you want to schedule an import, if you want to schedule an export or something like that, there is a tool out there with the help of which you can do that. Uh, not all the tools can do it, but there is a certain tool, uh, you figure out which one, or let me know down in the comments that which uh, tool that is, with the help of which you can actually uh, schedule an import or an export. You're going to be definitely finding a question related to the schedule import or scheduled export. Go learn that topic as well. The last thing that you need to master in data management or data import export is the unique ID uh, that which I, with the help of which ID we are making sure we are updating the records or with the help of which uh, yeah external ID we are updating or upserting the records. You need to know the difference between record ID as well as uh, ex an external ID because you're going to be using either one of them in order to update or upsert the records inside your Salesforce database. So you need to actually uh, learn it thoroughly. The last but definitely not the least topic that you need to master in order to crack your Salesforce certification, administrator certification is standard objects. Specifically for Salesforce administrator certification I'm talking about in here, not for the app builder one because in app builder, uh, we do not uh, have this topic. Uh, included in the study material, but for Salesforce administrator certification exam, we do have this topic and that is standard objects. When I say standard objects, these are just the objects uh, which are already present into the Salesforce database, uh, Salesforce platform, I will not say database, uh, like leads, accounts, contacts, opportunities, products, price books, cases, solutions, knowledge, content, so many of them. You need to actually know the behaviors, the patterns, uh, as well as the functionality or the usage of these different different products which are already provided by Salesforce uh, in order to be used by a particular business. So you need to like master the need and the usage of all of the standard objects provided uh, by the Salesforce it's itself, specifically the ones that I have uh, took the name of right now. And if you are not aware of about all of these standard objects, then there is a video that we are linking in here. Just go and check out that video and the uh, link of that video is down there in the description as well. Just go check that out. You'll be able to understand what I'm talking about. Majority of the questions in your Salesforce certification exam are going to be based on the standard objects only. Like no matter what the topic is, in this scenario, there'll be probably any standard object that will be used to create that scenario or to create that situation for which you need to answer or to, for which you need to actually give the answer to that particular question. So make sure that you know the behavior, the relationship, the behavior of the different standard objects, the relationship between all of these standard objects and how do they actually perform or how do they actually do the particular job that they are created for. You need to actually master all of these and how you can do that is by just creating different different records uh, of each of these standard objects and then creating their uh, child records and then deleting them uh, or like just creating, deleting and performing different functionalities that are present on uh, the Salesforce platform in, uh, for these standard objects. If you can master all of the topics that I've mentioned over here, you'll definitely crack your Salesforce certification, specifically Salesforce Administrator Certification Exam in one go. So what are you waiting for? 
go and learn all of these topics in order to crack your sales force certification exam and once you have done once you have cracked the sales force certification exam make sure to comment down over here or you can tag me on linkedin whenever you're going to be posting your certification or on instagram and don't forget to check out our playlist that we have created on youtube uh, which will help you learn sales force administrator from scratch the link of which is attached down in the description and if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment if you have any questions for us and if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure to do so right now and please hit that notification bell icon as well with that i'll see you see you in the next video till then bye bye take care